Okay, here we go. MK1 basic deals. Let's talk openers. 431. Great, great range. 421, the mids. Back 31. And they're all pretty safe. And also 1 1 should be mentioned because it's kind of an opener. It's a typical punish and things like that. But anyway, you do your opener into a force ball. That's typically how everything works. Opener. And then as long as they're not blocking, you'll go into the force ball. And that's kind of how all combo routes work. So. I'm gonna stop talking and let's just get into some combos. So this is more of just like an idea right now. I'm sure it's not safe from all wake ups, but at least it kind of seems to put the opponent in the pressure to want to press buttons or something. So it's just kind of a cool idea. So now I want to show some corner combos. Not all of them are the full optimals. All you'd have to do is change some standing twos into four twos really, but I like these for the consistency. So mid-screen this wouldn't really work too well, but 4-2-3 as an ender in the corner can actually be pretty good if people are falling asleep and uh, just want to get hit up again by like another mix-up. Like right after 4-2-3 going for back 3-1, or uh, this might even be like a good time to go for uh, an overhead as well. So like basically you just do your opener, do the basic corner combo, and then you end it in 4-2-3 so that you can then go for your little mix-up with the overheads or something. Next up is my armor breaking uh, striker cameo. Basically the combos changed up to allow some more height and uh, this breaks armor anyway in different setups but it's kind of the idea of doing 4-3-1 in there. This thing is kind of cool that I found too. It's a um, more of a visual glitch where invisibility just happens in an instant like that. So although it's not like game breaking or anything, it's just kind of crazy that Reptile will be fully visible for a second 
and then all of a sudden he's uh, invisible again and you kind of go for your pokes and your mix-ups. I was kind of playing with doing um, pressure or going to like a back grab or something because your cameo will be still gone in some instances. And my last thing is kind of how I would use the striker restand. Right when the opponent breaks free from the cuffs is kind of when you go for your move so you can make it frame tight. You can do the overhead, kind of just whatever pressure you think, and that's it.